how to dress in your 30s. Congratulations are in order if you have graduated to the next phase of your life. If you are feeling unsure about your choices in life during your 20s, your 30s represent a time to do away with the components that misfired and incorporate things that elevated your personal sense of style. With the 20s all about experimentation and going for broke, by the time you reach your 30s, you should have a fairly good idea about what looks best for your frame and lifestyle. Your 30s also mark another transition in your life as you may be at another level in your career or perhaps even starting a family. This means that you will have less time to invest in scouring for clothes as in previous years, so knowing what works and what doesn't translates into time and energy saved. Style considerations for your 30s. If your 20s were about making an impression, then your 30s are about cementing relationships and nurturing them in order to elevate to the next level. As such, looking your best around the clock is going to be even more essential than it was before. Of course, you will still need jeans and trainers as a part of your wardrobe, but more than likely suits and blazers will become even more integral to your overall look, and this is the first decade where you start to give back to yourself. Personal grooming should always be a priority no matter what age you are, but in your 20s, it's far easier to get away with scruffy beards, man buns, and unruly hair in public settings. By the time you hit your 30s, these fashion faux pas should be a thing of the past to present a more refined overall aesthetic. These following tips are going to ensure that your 30s take everything up a notch. Assembling your labels. This is the time in your life to curate the brands that are destined to become your personal favorites. Once you're in your 30s, you should now be able to narrow down your selections in less time and know which labels you can depend on to provide you with quality apparel year after year, season after season. These core shops will inevitably become the staples where you can have your most essential style elements taken care of as hassle-free as possible. Get suited and booted. You're more than likely going to need more than just one measly suit in your 30s, so use this decade to invest in a few more options that encompasses a broader color scheme with black, navy, and gray suits providing the bare minimum. Once those have been procured, Broaden your wardrobe with bolder colors and patterns that can be worn during specific times and seasons of the year. You should also select trousers and blazers that are versatile enough to be layered with your premium denim, chinos, and v-neck tees. By now, you should have a trusted tailor at your disposal to produce the refined look that you're searching for. Selecting standout pieces. So if you made the right style decisions in your 20s and stocked up on the basic wardrobe pieces that every man needs, then your 30s is the pivotal time to invest in those items that are classic, beautifully made, and make you look your absolute best. Set aside the funds to pay for these once and they will remain as a part of your closet for life. In your 30s, quality really should be the name of the game. And so that should be your objective when curating new pieces into your wardrobe. There should be premium accessories working their way into your wardrobe by your 30s that ideally they're going to last you a lifetime. And aside from owning a versatile trench coat and a proper umbrella, accessories should include cufflinks, leather wallets, silk ties, leather bags, hats, and high quality chukka boots. Less is more mantra. As you come into your own style-wise, your 30s mark a turning point in your sartorial career as this will be one of the first stages where you will begin decluttering your wardrobe to find the gems that will carry on into a new decade. The golden rule that should not be overlooked during this time is quality over quantity. Now is the time to make a conscious effort in steering clear of trends and fads to cultivate a style and presence that is all your own. That includes narrowing down the fabric types that work best for your physique, as well as selecting a signature scent that people will begin to associate with your presence. The balancing act to curating amazing style begins in earnest during this decade, so take it seriously and it's going to pay off in the long run.